We're going to present the story of Samson in a way it's never been done before, so I want to tell you briefly why we're doing it like this and how. It's a story with something for everyone. There's plenty of sex and violence, and the hero is a kind of modern Hercules or ancient Superman. I first came across the story at the age of six, pouring some syrup on my wartime porridge and not really understanding the riddle on the tin, out of the strong came forth sweetness. And I was no more than eight when my father sang me a little ballad explaining that the source of his superhuman strength lay in his hair. Everyone seems to know the episode when his hair was cut off in the lap of Delilah. And lots of us remember other big scenes like the putting out of his eyes or at the climax of the tale, the moment when he pulled down the temple of Dagon, killing himself and thousands of Philistine worshippers. Other bits will come back to you as you follow the performance, like the story of the killing of a young lion or his use of a donkey's jawbone to destroy a whole regiment. Many people, too, are familiar with more recent versions of the whole saga, like the Hollywood epic of 1949, or a hundred years earlier, the opera Samson and Delilah by Saint-Saëns, with its great tune for the temptress. Our two plays offer something rather different. We are going to let you experience the words behind the paintings and the opera, and above all to let you hear the sounds and rhythms of those words as they were early in the evolution of the story, around 2,400 years ago, and then at its highest point in the poetry of John Milton. The story of Samson was first told in four chapters of the Book of Judges, which offer a self-contained folk tale an epic saga in very simple prose, brilliantly constructed as an oral narrative, but pretty superficial in its morality and in its world view. Whereas the 1800 lines of Milton's drama are permeated by a profound understanding of the Christian view of sacred history and are deeply personal. Blind now and in disgrace, the poet is living in darkness and with dangers compassed round, and he easily identifies with the sufferings of a hero who so nearly failed in his divine mission. Our play contains some of Milton's most moving lines, in which the man and the Christian believer come together in a poet at the height of his powers. Oh, glorious strength put to the labour of a beast! Debase lower than bond slave. Promise was that I should Israel from Philistian yoke deliver. Ask for this great deliverer now and find him eyeless in Gaza at the mill with slaves, himself in bonds under Philistian yoke. But there is still one other vital dimension. The very title of the drama is reasserting the value of the classical components, the non-Christian elements in Milton's culture. The epithet agonistes conveys the idea of a tragic protagonist. Milton had set out to write a perfect Greek tragedy, and this accounts for the lofty style, the major role of a chorus, and his observance of the so-called unities of place and time. Incidentally, this is why he limits himself to a representation of the events of a single day, the last day in Samson's life, filling out the material with flashbacks and commentary. This dramatic poem, his own description, was never intended for performance in a theatre, but proves to be ideal for a semi-staging of the kind we've been doing for a dozen years and more. As usual, we have shortened the text, slimming it down by about one third, and we project surtitles to ensure that every single word is understood, supporting the all-important poetry with images from art and with expressive music from the time.
Milton's play will be preceded by a dramatization of the biblical narrative treated in the same way, shortened and with newly composed surtitles to convey the meaning and the spirit of this very early translation into ancient Greek. To be precise, we'll use the Greek Bible to tell the story of Samson's birth and early adventures, switching over to English at the point where Milton takes up the story. When they're juxtaposed like this, each play can sharpen our awareness of the very different merits of the other. And seeing them together, you'll experience the beginning and the end of the long process of Hellenization of this material from the Middle East. A process that was completed by Milton when he gave it the form of a classical tragedy, but which had begun as early as the 3rd century BC, when it was first translated into spoken Greek, the universal language of trade, the empire, and of high culture. These two Samson plays, by the way, fit wonderfully well into the framework of our earlier productions, most of them performed in the original Greek. They overlap in different ways with episodes from the epic poems dealing with Achilles and Aeneas, with tragedies of Oedipus and Ajax, or with our biblical adaptations of Job, the Gospel of Mark, and the Apocalypse. So do come along to our Samson Double Bill, two performances on the 21st and 22nd of February, in the Old Theatre opposite St John's College. Admission is free, but we do advise you to reserve a seat by visiting the booking site. And remember, everyone is welcome. <laughs>